Tiffany and welcome back to my channel if you are enjoying my Lucifer content please remember to like the videos hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon that's next to it because that alerts you when a new video has been posted also check out the description below so you can find all my reactions in one place and also you can find links to my other socials so you can drop me a follow over there if you like and I need you to leave your comments in the comment section Guys, if you don't leave your comments, how am I supposed to shut you out? And by doing everything that I've just listed, this lets YouTube know that you're enjoying my content. Therefore, they will push it out more. So the shout out for this video goes to uh, Jensen. Thank you so much for taking the time out to comment on my last video. So last episode, you're getting your recap, guys was really good a really great episode really well done it, 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 we got back into the i guess the overarching storyline that we're supposed to be in if you're giving me 20 something episodes we're supposed to constantly be in it and we got a glimpse of someone who i can't remember if he said he was a cinnamon or we or lucifer said he was a cinnamon and he just like went on with it but in my head now, it seems I have two theories now. I still have my Kane theory. I still have that because they haven't deluded me of that yet. But what if Cinnamon isn't just one person? What if it's a collective group of people with the same ideals? I know that sounds weird, but to me, to meet the Cinnamon in episode nine, no. Yeah episode nine of season three for him to do what he did at the end of season at the end of episode nine that was wild and i'm like i don't think you're the cinema but i do believe you're following the cinema and that he he has given you that script so i feel like they're gonna be different and by that why i mean it i was like they're gonna be different people who are going to claim that they're cinema and then will have like the information that will confirm that they're the cinema i feel like that's what's going to happen because my guy digged his up i'm trying to figure out how no one heard him you telling me he was that quiet and i still believe that cop that came out before lucifer went in he had something to do with it because nah nah and he, he did that because he didn't want to look into lucifer's eyes for him to get the truth out but i feel like he is that type of human that will be difficult to get the truth out of like you know he'll be someone in the range of chloe but different from chloe just because of his mentality but and then we we, we saw how um chloe they really pushing this chloe and lieutenant um situation we had a deal and uh Dr. Linda and Maze with this tri uh, this triangle and I'm like y'all don't 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 push that please because it's it'll be such a un to me personally it would be such an unnecessary plot to to go through because it's like come on now Maze you goddamn well know you don't you no longer you you act you actually have Mr. Smith there somewhere in Canada that you need to go look fine that what you need to go do but we're going to see where this goes. Um, We're going on to episode 10 of season 3. And it's called <laughs> The Sin Bin. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. With that being said, let's jump into this reaction. 911, what is your emergency? Please, I need help. He's going to kill me. And don't drop the keys. Hi, Maze. Cheers. It's Wednesday. Ooh, exactly. The party's just begun. Why are we celebrating again? Well, isn't it obvious? No. They apprehended the car to arrange my kidnapping. Oh, okay. They gave me wings. Finally, Maze. Answers will be mine. Right. <laughs> I'm sure a human jail will stop a soldier of God. That's actually more sarcasm. I'm just saying, devil face wins big deal. 
He wanted to hit you where it really hurts. There are other things he could do to you. Like? Or take away. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about your life in LA. Chloe. Chloe. I know what you're talking about. But I won't allow it. Good luck mojoing a blind guy. I was just gonna say that. I don't need eyes to find out the cinnamon's desire. Oh, okay. Weakness. <laughs> no? That's so hard. Yes, always. Why don't I help you with your stick first? <laughs> Wow. T minus 10 people. The prisoner is in the house. I just love watching Pierce work. It's like a master class in ass rope with a monk. It is his job. No, I mean, it's, there's no way I could be that stoic if the cinnamon had killed my brother. Wait, what? Yeah, but, uh, Chloe, you talk too much. Was personal, but his own flesh and blood? Holy bananas. He must totally need a hug. Ella, if you hug me, I swear to God. Our support right now. I didn't know it wasn't common knowledge. Not that that is at all relevant. Look, he's on edge. Just don't bring it up, okay? You know she's gonna bring it up. Nice to see you all again. <laughs> you got jokes. What? Too soon? Come on. Yeah. He's certainly oozing remorse. I saw him. With a gun standing over the guy he shot. Don't worry. At this point, a confession is just icing on the cake. Oh, good. Just in time for the main event. Right, why don't you two make yourselves comfortable and I'll take first crack at Helen Killer here. I deserve a new nickname now that he's blind. Oh, okay. Yes. I don't know. I didn't know that. Um, it's not happening. Ooh. Last time you talked to me, gouged his own eyes out. That's not the point. No one's talking to him but me. What? You can't seriously be suggesting that you're the impartial party here. I mean, he's clearly your Moby Dick, and we all know what happened to Captain Ahab. <coughs> Told by savage revenge, dragged to the bottom of the sea. So, eh, Chloe just went in. Sinner, yes. is it, Mr. Man? A census taker once tried to test me. Excuse me? I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm sorry. Always wanted to do that. I mean, I do love that film there. Interesting time to make jokes when two people are dead. Mm. But I know you're not crazy. Nope. There's a definite method to my non madness. Oh, speaking of, what time is it? I can't see my watch. <coughs> Ella, the center man's phone from evidence. I'd pick up if I were you. I thought, I feel, I said it was going to be a connection. I can't, can't. <laughs> Too late. A business connection. Well, you better hope it's not. Oh, oh my God! Don't do that to me, please. What is that? Wild guess. A woman trapped in a reservoir that will fill with water. Oh, pretty soon, I'd say. Who else are you working with? Well, I could tell you, but what fun would that be? The only way she'll survive is if I take you to her. Wow. Right. Jesus. Was in custody when this woman was abducted, which means I told you it was going to be a collection of people, a connection of people. Right. Find the accomplice, find the girl. I tried pinging her cell, but the battery's gone dead. What about tracing the call from the cinnamon's phone? Blocked and rerouted through a server in Delhi. Which is Wonderful news. Means we can save the life of poor doomed Maggie the far more expedient way. We are not letting the cinnamon out of here. He clearly desires freedom, which means he's motivated and likely telling the truth. Following his lead will be much faster than running down clues, dodging red herrings, and following up on random tips from every Tom, Dick, and Dullard. Lucifer got a right. Lucifer got a point. No sign of her or her car. Ah, see? I'm telling you. Obi-Wan can't see me as Maggie's only hope. Fine, if we insist on doing it the long way and investigate, we may as well hurry up and inevitably get back to my idea. Okay. What is Trixie doing coloring crime scene photos at a desk when we have a psychotic killer in custody? Oh, she's done wonders with that mangled corpse, though. Very artistic. Didn't you book Mrs. Fajinski? Look, I meant to, Chloe, but I totally spaced on this random day off school. I'm handling it, because I'm super dead. Oh, okay. Chloe, come look at this. A pretty good idea of where Maggie spends her time. Oh, Derby! And there they are, the voice first. So, Derby D 
Rainbows versus the Blazing Banshees. It's Derby's most notorious rivalry. Wow, I did not think Chloe would be into this. Oh, oh shit. I, when Trixie started roller skating, I took her to the Derby, and it was love at first sausage. Oh. Right, well, as much as I'd love a bite, how about we get back to proving that your method of finding Maggie isn't as good as mine? No, there. We're looking for some misleading information on a missing person. Maggie Cole? The Slayer is missing? Ditched practice yesterday, and she hasn't returned my call since... Since what? Since she got into one doozy of a booby brawl with our blocker, Helena Handbasket. Right, let me guess. Helena? Damn. Damn. here for me. Ask you if you... No way! Questions! Eat me! Yes, please! <laughs> I knew you were gonna say it! And she's gonna run. I don't think so. Is that Cherry Bomb? Damn! <laughs> Damn, woman! Is this really the time? Always. He gonna spin it. Damn! Cheers. Forget the cough sound. No idea what the sin bin is, but I approve. It's a penalty box. Ah. ah. Right. Want to explain why you ran? Because you were chasing me. Bitch, all we said was LAPD. No, you ran because you realized we're cops. It's all Maggie's fault. No, I just roughed her up a bit. Roughed her up? Why? Because. She stole my spot as lead jammer. Huh. Where were you last night? A plausible Helena? alibi. It was on Fresh Meat Patrol. Oh, good for you, Helena. No, it means training a new crew. Oh. Maggie isn't just a job hogging bitch, she's a cheap job hogging bitch. Jesus. Right. Come on, detective. Chop, chop. More dead end clues aren't going to find themselves. <laughs> as much as Lucifer was annoyed. I kind of agree with him in this time. It's like, yeah, you're going to go round and round. What the hell did you take, Trixie? Uh, hi, Mrs. Bajinsky. My, my deepest condolences. She did? Well, sweetheart, you won't be staying with Mrs. Bajinsky today. Or ever again. <laughs> I think that. Good to know that I'm not the only questionable parent these days. Ah, uh, sure. I, hey, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Not my finest moment. <laughs> you're pretty. How do you know daddy? She's my uh, work colleague. Um, Just say friend and done with it. How's the new job at the uh, the DA's office? Dull. What's a girl got to do to get a nice grizzly murder or a few underage drug mules? I like you. You're funny. And you're short. <laughs> I love that Chloe. Hey. Does still act Mocha? like mom. Shout out espresso. Ah ah. No. Mommy loves me. No, she doesn't. That statement would never hold up in court. No. <laughs> Uh-oh. Daddy, I have an idea. Trixie, don't do that. Trixie, don't, don't do that. Maggie's car, it may lead us to the Sinner Man's accomplice. What happened to being on the same page? You know, partners, being a team? Child, yeah. I'm barely a team. making sure you and I remain a team. That shit bright as hell. That did not look bright at night. Plates match. Lucifer, we have to call forensics before we taint the evidence. Well, where's more of poor Maggie's precious oh, time? No. <laughs> You see? You see the bullshit? That's where you wait. Damn. That's evidence gone. Oops. <laughs> he said oops. I want to knock you out. No trace evidence means we still have no way of tracking Maggie. I can't believe I'm suggesting this. Okay, fine. Perhaps I shouldn't have touched the car. We need to bust out the center man. Oh, yeah, the same thing. Oh, Not what I was expecting. But Me neither, but okay. Thank you, detective, for finally seeing things my way. For better or worse, you are my partner, so I need to have your back on this. <laughs> Just one question, though. How do you suggest we get him out of here? I actually have a plan. But in order for it to work, you need to do exactly what I say. First, you need the keys to holding. What, the same keys old stiff as a board Pierce has locked away in his office? You need a distraction. Go ahead. Oh, that Pierce thing this morning. Oh. I cannot stop thinking about that poor man. Oh, yeah, good he's person so, to distract. He's really going through a lot. Maybe a little Ella is exactly what the doctor ordered. Crafty maneuver, detective. But do you really think Miss Lopez will fall for such a blatant manipulation? It's Ella. 
Uh... Oh my god, I'm so in. But here's the thing. Oh, who else will pop it? to seem like I'm blabbing Pierce's personal business all over the precinct. Totes understood. Is everything all right, Lopez? We lost Buttons when I was nine. That was our pet corgi. Buttons, I mean. Sorry for your loss. You know, I'll never... Ever. He's really. I just could only think of him as Superman, and he was so skinny. For him to be this buff is just taking me out. Can it be to find one tiny key? Or for a tiny lab tech to trap a hardened six foot four lieutenant against his will? Yeah, this plan not gonna work. Longest time. Then I realized it wasn't about the hatchback. It wasn't. He's so tired, huh? Where could they be? On him? Oh, he's a good tabler. Assuming we do manage to swipe the keys to the holding cell, how do we get him out of here? I mean, I sight the scoundrel doesn't exactly blend. All he has to do is go up to that bomb tech and hand her this. Consider it handled. Seriously? This is what you want? The more important question is, what do you want in return? Oh, lad. Oh, lad. Even if my charm does work on the bomb tech, and who are we kidding? Of course it will. We still need someone to sell the big finish. Someone deserving of a very special gift. Huh? What's this? Dad! Be nicely wrapped to be another sever. Seriously? Oh, oh my god! Y'all are horrible. Yago gave so much trouble. I cannot believe that actually worked. I can't believe well, it either. It almost worked. Hello, <laughs> hello, Lieutenant. Did you really think I was gonna let you bust them out without me? Oh! Hey, more than Maria. Let's go. As long as the Lieutenant is aware, we're not getting in trouble. Oh, put that down. It's very ugly. <sighs> Valuable. What are you wearing? It's like fun to do here. Oh, you could alphabetize these case files. You don't have kids, do you? She does. Actually, I do, too. They live with their father. That makes sense. My mom and dad work, and they still hang out with me. Together and apart. Good for them. You could do stuff with your kids, too. Well, the truth is... You don't know. They don't want to see me. Oh, yeah. You're the mom. You make the rules. Oh, a child say that. Oh, are you and my dad having sex? Oh, Trixie. <laughs> wow. Um, it really is true how the other senses kick in. Hundred more yards, then we have to turn east. Sir, why did Mr. Buy the Book change his mind? Why are you helping us? Because you're right. It's the best way to find the girl. So you really think this is a trap that this accomplice is laying in wait? Why else would he lead us to the middle of nowhere? Right. Ambush. Well, I guess we'll just have to go nut to butt. Have Charlie do the foxtrot, cover each other's sixes and all that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah? Hoo -ah! Military terms. Weren't you a serviceman? Yeah. We don't talk about I was like, they don't talk like that. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. That would be so crazy if Maggie is the accomplice. Where's the super? Oh, no. Listen, where you took this man? His accomplice was here. Damn it! They've got Lucifer, too. You sure? Oh, that water was green. Come on. Pick up. I don't like how y'all be grabbing Lucifer like that. You gotta be so stupid. I knew this was a setup. No, breaking the center man out was my idea. This is my fault. It's my watch. I don't think she saw him. I was leaving the rink and he chased me. He grabbed me, threw me in a van, and then I woke up here. It's like it happened fast. How would he have had enough time to rig the car with explosives? Gone back and put the grenade in later. We didn't mention a grenade. I told you she would accomplice. I made it all up. I wasn't attacked. I, I abducted myself. Why? All I wanted was to be my team's lead jammer, but I could never compete with that spotlight-stealing bitch, Faith Kill. So, 
I went to this guy who grants people favors. We need a name. Cinnamon. Just goes by the Sinner Man. Oh, gee, I told you there's a connection of these people. Faith, and the next thing I know, she's in a car accident. I never wanted anyone to die. Took out your competition, then demanded you repay him by faking your own kidnapping. And the 911 call. You went, you went from you victim. No one. He wanted to be alone with him, so he kidnapped the sinner man. That's it, yeah. Because I was like, this, this, people, too much people kidnapping ki Lucifer for my days. Oh, good. You're away. Before we start, one tiny adjustment. Yeah, Lucifer. <laughs> Much less creepy. I save my Hills estate for only very special occasions, my very own Sindin. If you will. Gosh, it's poetic, isn't it? The man who desired freedom fell into his very own trap. Well, the only thing I desire is answers. And I might give you what you want. I'm not going to tell you anything. You, you had me kidnapped. Dumped in the desert. Somehow made my feathery burdens grow back and then took away my devil face. Why? You won't give me wings off devil face back i'm sensing this is the part where the said devil face would kick in right Ooh. damn okay this, you have to draw a pentagram sprinkle some powdered eye of newt and then wait for a full moon how's your howl ah. <laughs> <laughs> this man ain't got no fear Punish a feeble blind man. Why oh, you no. feeble? No, I wouldn't dream of it. Oh, Lord Maze. All right, you can't say. <laughs> Allow me to paint you a picture. Meet hell's most brutal torturer. Mazaki. Pleasures all mine. Because that's just her pregnancy body. I love it though. She looks so pretty. We tried waterboarding. Twice. Stand behind the nails. Do I look like an amateur? Oh, God. Back on repeat. That's where I started. <laughs> What's this issue with Nickelback? You want to give it a try? I've pushed that guy to his limit. Anything else might kill him. You and I both know. Angels aren't allowed to kill humans. Yes. Or are they? Huh? What I mean? Lucifer, don't be an idiot. No. Killing the cinnamon is exactly what I need to do. No, you don't. We need to find out where Lucifer took him. This may help. Who's this? High-end real estate? Um, why do you have files on Lucifer? Bowie and I were married. So what if I did some due diligence on my wife's new partner? Call it being protective. Not the word I had in mind. Stalker. Yes. But what else? Lucifer plants a bomb at my desk and I'm the creepy one. Um, actually, that was me. Sorry. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Human heads, explosives. Can someone send me, I don't know, a muffin basket next time? That'd be nice. There's over a dozen properties here. I know where they are. Now, how do you know that? I'm a demon. Big fan of death and destruction. I like how they haven't so shown us. A human is Angel No Nos 101. How he looks. Look at your brother. Total power loss, and he only got murder adjacent. Precisely my point. If I kill a human, then I lose my wings. In theory, except your father is going to be pissed. You kill a human, one that he sent to do his bidding. Exactly. Oh, shit. How y'all know God sent him? Look, you said it yourself, Mace. If I don't stop this now, who knows what else you'll do? Okay. This is for don't do it. Don't do it. Wait. Where are you going? She Happy can't. at the chateau. Text me when you've done the deed. She can't. Well, she can't watch you do that. I'll be able to tell by the plague of locusts. You're sure that they're in the hills? I mean, pretty sure. He said, imagine living in LA and not being able to enjoy the sun. Ah, okay. It's just like Lucifer to bring a blind man to the place with the best view. Hope we can get there before he does something he can't take back. It's an embarrassment of riches, really. So many delicious ways to kill a human. Gunshot, banal. Oh, I know. Oldie but a goodie. <laughs> Beheading. Can you Honestly, do Can you at least try to look threatening? <sighs> okay, I'm sorry, but that's barely any torturing. 
And I can't kill you sitting down. You need to stand up and face me like a man. Come to your left. Your other left. <laughs> He's right acting. Here. Hello, Marco. Perhaps a last meal of some kind to perk you up. You're going to feed me? Well, just because I'm about to slaughter a man in cold blood doesn't mean I'm not civilized. Just means you're stalling. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be preposterous. I've waited a long time for revenge. I'm simply savoring the moment. Tell you, you can't kill nobody. Feel your failure. Or you don't have what it takes to kill a man. That one. Not many people do. Perhaps you're a coward. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, smug, homely, bingo. You win the grand prize at the painful death raffle. The one doing all the talking. I know, right? How about drown me with a flood or strike me with lightning? What cheesy metaphor would you prefer? I tip off the old block. Like father, like son. Enough! <laughs> Pull the string, puppet man. Ah, he against God as well, too. I don't have it in me to kill a human. Uh, no, no, wait. You have to do it. No, I ain't got it. I gotta do I it. wonder why you, the evil genius, hadn't sprung a more clever trap. It has to be you. Because I was the trap. He needs you to kill him. You never wanted freedom. Desire was to die, and for some reason you need me to do it. Yes. Supposedly believe in free will. Then honor my why free you will. Need me to do it. Why? Why? No. No! You see, this is why I tell you he's part of it. Why would you shoot him and not shoot Lucifer? He's gone. I'm sorry. I know you didn't want it to end this way. Oh, uh, this is going to break up the partnership now? You wanted to see me? Yes. Something very strange just happened here. Um, a thank you for saving my life might be appropriate. Yep. I actually wasn't the one in danger. Clearly, things went south. No, let me explain what happened. What happened was you didn't follow my lead. Here we as go. As usual, you did whatever the hell you wanted. Detective, I understand that my interest in getting our blind barbarian alone may have been a tad selfish, but it turns out I was the pawn. I don't have time for this. I know this would have happened. It was a cinnamon's plan to be snatched by me all along. He wanted to die. The official statement says that you were grabbed in an escape attempt. I think I care what Pierce thinks. No, I don't think you care what anyone thinks. That's not true. I told you, I did this for, for us. us. For the team? I had your back on this, Lucifer. And for whatever reason, you still felt the need to go behind mine. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Daddy! Hey. Aww. Is went well? <laughs> Hey, uh, that's Alex, so cute. You watching Trucy. Maybe we can go grab that coffee sometime. Ah, oh, we got coffee this morning. Yeah. I'm kidding, Dan. This <laughs> <laughs> is more romantic. Look at Trixie play matchmaker. It's okay Dinners. by me. No, you see, you can be a great mom. The best woman ever. Woman, woman, get it right. Go see your children. I, I know mom messed you up, and I know you wasn't the greatest mom before her, but go see your children. I want to see my kids. What are you looking for? Answers. I'll be right back. Oh, Lord. Ella. Oh, my God. You killed it. I mean, killed him. I mean, I... Holy Marino Ball! With your take down the bad dude heroics and... Lopez, just stop talking! Thank you! Thank you. Finally, somebody said it. And loud, too. Um, um, uh. But, yeah, he's stressing the fuck out. Where did that picture come from? Well, I'm here. Uh-uh. Just waited till morning. Just tell me what you want. Right. Well, we're both familiar with the accomplice theory that our blind barbarian had someone working for him. What if the cinnamon was the one working for someone else? 
What if he was the accomplice? Here is Mr. Cinnaman as a child. With a man that he seems very close to. Interesting birthmark. Similar shape to your military tattoo, actually. Wouldn't you agree? This man would be very, very old by now. Or, oh, if he isn't, he'd have to be. <laughs> Immortal. An immortal crime boss. As such, there's really only one way to prove my theory. Where is it? Ah, there it is. Um, Lucifer, you're gonna get in trouble even more. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Lucifer, how are you gonna explain this if he don't pop back up alive? Oh, he he calm with it. If he said you could stop faking. That'd be funny as hell. He <laughs> turned back around like, um... <laughs> Take it. I wonder why I didn't figure it out sooner. The world's first murderer. Kate! Marked by God and doomed to walk the earth alone for I win. I win. It's quite the moniker. Yet, still, nowhere near as ridiculous as the Cinnaman. You agree? Kane. You may as well pour me one, too. God, I call that. I call that. Yeah, mm, yeah. Mm, I had a feeling it was gonna be Kane. I knew it was Kane. I knew it was Kane. I knew it. I knew it. So my theory got my first theory was right. I knew it was Kane because it's like the cinnamon, the original person to commit sin was Kane, the first murderer. I just didn't think it would come out this soon. So episode 10 and we already know who who the bad guy is but i guess even more questions now come up now that you still have a lot more episodes to go through what is the plot because it's it's no longer who took away um his devil face to give him wings because we know who that is now what is he here why is he a, a cop why is he in la why is he not only now showing his face? Why? Why, why, why? We do have more questions now. On top of everything. Of why are you here? What, what, why did you... What was the purpose of the man? You took care of him and like what, what, what do you have against Lucifer? Is the question. Why is it that if you are taking care of that child now and he's your accomplice, why did he need to die by Lucifer's hand? Why, what do you gain from Lucifer killing a human? Like, I, I want to know that. What, what is there to gain? What do, and what do you want? Why are you here? Huh? Why are you here, sir? Good sir, why are you here? Good sir, you need to answer that question. Why are you here? Because I need to know. I need to know where this is going to go. And I already knew that this whole situation is their way of breaking up Lucifer and Chloe to push her towards Lieutenant. I already know this. I already know this. This is why me didn't even really comment on that whole situation. Because to be fair, if I think back on it, really, really, are Chloe and Lucifer really a team? Think about it, guys. We've seen... 20 odd episodes of Lucifer now. And to me, I'm, I don't really consider them a team. If that's, that's very weird to say, but to me, like when you compare the team of the TV show, I don't consider Lucifer and Chloe a team because as, as Chloe said, Lucifer always goes against, go against her, go do things behind her back. And then Chloe doesn't listen. Like if she can't see tangible proof, she she won't listen. So it's like, are y'all really a team? I think y'all make a good romantic partnership, but I don't really see y'all as a crime 
solving team because it's like you get angry at lucifer lucifer gets annoyed at you y'all actually solve cr crimes when y'all are really separate that's when y'all really come up with it together y'all don't really solve crimes in my humble opinion so to me that's why i i was going to comment more but i was like this was obvious they they want to push them apart for the chloe to be with um lieutenant uh, uh, lucifer to get upset and who knows maybe this is all part of the, um kane's mass grand plan who knows but that was a really good episode though thank you for the back-to-back -back episodes that actually were really good thank you for that I i'm guessing the next one is going to be good because it's still i can't see you just jumping onto a new topic without giving us that talk that Kane and Lucifer have. So I guess next episode will be good. And then we'll go against with these filler breaks that you want to give us. But I just want to know why he's here. What is his plan? What is his goal? Come on, give me that. But with that being said, if you enjoyed my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, and leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, remember a like, a sub, a comment. A share of this video goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next reaction. Bye.